Question seven is slightly atypical as a question seven in that it actually has uh, two parts. It has this part A for one mark, but it's quite a straightforward one. Um, I think most of you got that, that the probabilities need to sum to one. So um, we've got 0 0.2 and 0 0.5, so that gives 0 0.3, which is why A plus B is 0 0.3. I think most of you got that. But we're going to use the fact that A and B are both probabilities um, later on when we answer part B. Uh, find the difference in the greatest possible expected value and the least possible expected value. Uh, the starting point here is to work out the expected value, and, and you should know how to do that. Each value multiplied by its associated probability, and we can carry that on even when we have algebraic expressions. Okay, now we've got a, an expression in two variables here. At this point, I recommend you use this result you've worked out here to sub into B there and B there, and you'll end up with a quadratic in A. I, I'm not going to work through that for you. I'm going to leave you to do that. You then need to find the quadratic in A, uh, and this will give you the least and greatest values of EX. Now, this might seem a little bit confusing because a quadratic only has one stationary point, either a minimum or a maximum, depending on the coefficient of the quadratic term. So how can you have a greatest and least value? Well, you know that A and B are both probabilities because they're both in this probability row of the table. If they weren't in here, you wouldn't be able to use this fact, but A and B are both probabilities. So we know that A and B both have to be greater than or equal to zero. Since they add to 0 0.3, the sum of these probabilities has to be one, we know that they have to be less than or equal to 0 0.3. If one of them is more than 0 0.3, the other one will have to be negative and that's not allowed. So you know that you've got this these restrictions on it, so you're looking for the maximum and minimum expected values within that interval. Now you will probably just have a quadratic in A, so all you're interested in is the values of A in that interval. Which one gives the highest expected value? Which one gives the lowest expected value? Um, I recommend one of the easiest ways of doing that is plotting the graph and restricting the domain to be between 0 and 0 0.3.